Who will argue with me? Okay. Um, <laughs> you go. Ar you know what, Penny? That's why your name is what it is. Anyway, guys, before we get started, you know what I need to see? I need to see some drink and snack emojis in the comments, please. Drink and snack emojis. What are you sipping on? What are you drinking on? It's time to get a little entangled. Just Ambi with pizza. Okay, oh, ice cubes. I know. She, I definitely know she's not eating is that cow because she don't go eat beef. <laughs> All right, y'all. So the last entanglement that we had was cozy. Now cozy's entanglement. We had cozy. We had Tyrone. And we had Emily. Y'all got it? Cozy, Tyrone, and Emily. Hello, if you're just walking into the building, welcome to Entanglements with me. It's Jilly, baby. We are about to get into a recap of the last entanglement that we had, all right? Story time, here we go. So, September 2019, Cozy, she had been divorced for about, let me turn this up. She had been divorced for about a year and a half. So she was, you know, she, there was infidelity in the previous relationship. So she wasn't dating. She's a, a new mom and she was kind of in this space of like healing. Okay. So she's there. She's out grocery shopping. Walmart. She said, I'm in Walmart in the aisle and she sees him. He comes over and he says, you know, can I get that? And, and it helps her with the water. Now, she said this man was 6'3", about 230, muscular. She said looked good. Look good. Good, good with the T. Y'all know y'all put the T on everything to emphasize it. But she wasn't in that dating space, so she was curving him. You know, my guy was trying to shoot his shot and be slick, but she was curving him, curving him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She makes her way to the register, and he's standing behind her. He stands behind her, and he tells her, oh, so you're going to make me work for it. You're going to make me work for this. Now, she blows him off, does her purchase. He has to walk her to the car. Now, ladies, if a guy was if a guy was shooting a shot to you in Walmart and you curved him, then he stands behind you in the register, you see him again, would you walk with him to the car? Would you walk with him? Would you, would you allow him to? It is giving off a little no. Okay, well, this was pre-COVID. This was pre-COVID, pre-COVID. Anyway. So she still engages. They walk, walks her to the car, and she says they end up having a 30-minute conversation. 30-minute conversation, nothing too, too intense, but got a good vibe. So she gave him the phone number, but she didn't give him the real phone number. She gave him the text now phone number. One in the comments if y'all got a text now phone number. One in the comments if y'all got y'all got your sideline. Sideline was another one. You to everybody that you see, y'all see with the ones in here and got three. Fellas, it's not the real number. It's not the real number. Dimbos, I see you. Okay, anyway, give him the text to Nana, right? He calls later and she said they had an amazing conversation. So she's feeling him. It's getting better. Three weeks in now, three weeks, three weeks in, she said they're having great conversation. They're doing little lunchtime meetups. Um, she said they never met uh, at her home in that first three weeks for safety reasons. They meet up at the park or they meet up in these places, but it was great. Everything's going great. Two weeks, two more weeks now, they're going on dates. They're going out on actual dates. But she notices one thing about these dates. They only go on dates after work, never on the weekends, but always after work. So he don't even like go home, get fresh and clean from work. They just after work, all their dates are after work. So, you know, they've had this like month and a half, right? We're a month and a half, almost two months in and they're talking all of the time. Then all of a sudden the late night calls and, and the conversations slow down. They kind of stop. Now, those of you that know, when you meet and you start talking the first, when you talk every day, you set an expectation of communication, right? If you, if you good morning me every morning for two, for two months, and then all of a sudden you stop sending me good mornings, I'm going to think something is up, right? Like you set the tone that this is how much we were communicating and now you just stop. So she asked him, she, what's, what's up with the you know, what's, what's going on? He gave her some excuses and, and, you know, she was like, all right, but it started to really get to her. Like, you know, I haven't been to his place. I have all of this stuff. We only go out after work. Like this is getting really like weird. So a week later after, the, after she kind of confronts him, she says, I'm coming over. I'm coming over to see you. So he says, okay, fine. Come over at seven o'clock. And he sends her an address. 
Now, Cozy's a very intelligent woman. She gets the address, and before she, she does anything, of course, she Googles the address, but there's a problem with the address. She Googles the address and she zooms in on, you know, you know how they have a little Google Earth thing and they zoom in it and she zooms in on the address and there's nothing there. Not a strip mall, not a gas station, not a nothing. She said, it's just empty. So she's trying to reach him and now he is not answering any of her or reaching out after he's not answering her, nothing. Two hours later, he calls back and he makes up, he tells her, oh, my cousin is, is, is getting into some things and he's gotta, I gotta go pick him up and they gotta come over. And she said it sounded like he had sirens and, and things playing in the back, like an ambulance. And she goes, but it sounded real fake, like fake sirens, like something he was playing off of like a YouTube or something. Um, but she said, he said, you can't come over. You can't come over. I got my cousin. This whole situation is going on. It's not like, we, we can't do this now. Cozy didn't flip out. She's, she just said, okay, you know, I'm going to piece this together. Now we're in December, December of 2019. And what ends up happening is his mom, Tyrone's mom is really sick. And he lets her know, you know, I think this might be the last time I'm going to see her. So I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to, I have to go out and see her. So it's a four hour drive. She said they talk the entire way. Okay. They talk the entire drive. So she's, you know, being supportive. Like this is who I'm dating. Um, finds out the mom passes away and she asks, can I get your mom's name so I can look it up and send some flowers? All right, sure, no problem. Gives her the name. She goes online, looks up the obituary, looks up the obituary. And as she's reading through the obituary, the name that she has for Tyrone is nowhere to be found in this obituary that lists family members and kids. And she's like, I don't see this name. So she does a little deductive reasoning in, in terms of like the number of kids and figures out his name. So she's like, all right, this is really starting to bug me and do this. So Cozy goes ahead. Now I do remember this. She would not give us the name of the app that she used. Cozy, if you're listening in here, we would like to know the app. In any case, she used an app that she paid for. She reversed, looked up, his name um, and his and his um, like the number and things that she had, <sighs> y'all. She actually went through and searched all of the male kids, all of the male children listed in the obituary. She searched them until she landed on the one that matched the address and the information that she had. When she found the right person, she found an address. She saw a picture of the truck and his car, so she knew that was him. But along with the address and the car, she also found a marriage license a marriage license listed in the information about Tyrone and his actual real name. Cozy said, well, you know what? No need to go off. I'm just going to gather some more receipts. Cozy goes on to Facebook and creates a fake Facebook page. If you have ever created a fake Facebook page to do some stalker-ish, one in the comments. It's okay. It's the ladies. It's the ladies. The, the, it's, it's definitely all the 14, as in you've done it one times four times. It's the honesty for me. I appreciate you guys. Um, so she created a fake Facebook page, found him, requested, got in there, and she said she saw all the pictures. She said she recognized the pictures because I believe he would send her pictures, but it would just be of him. Like she recognized the picture of being like somebody being cropped out. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all ever caught anybody doing that? Has anybody ever caught somebody? They sent you a picture and then you see it and they then cropped out like another woman or another man. So she sees the picture, she, but she said during this time she kept her cool, comes back, confronts him about all of this. He apologizes and she blocks him. She says that's messed up. She blocks him, blocks him. But now he starts to show up to her job. So for about two to three months, he was showing up at her job, waiting for her outside, trying to apologize, explain himself. Eventually, she ended up talking to him and basically told him, um, you could have been honest with me and at least given me the choice. And what Cozy ended up letting us know is after she had a conversation with Tyrone about all of the information, she still wanted to see him. Do you remember when I said her first, her, um, her divorce ended in infidelity? Well, Cozy was very open and saying, well, you know, I just wanted to 
try it out and be on the other side. So she continued to see Tyrone, who was married. So they would go meet up. They would go to a, a hotel. The first meetup, they went to a hotel room. She gave him the cash for the hotel room because he can't charge it on his credit card, right? Because that's going to be a, a receipt or something there. Um, went to the hotel room and Cozy was very honest. Cozy said it was worth it. She said it was worth it. She was in there. She said it was worth it. And they started, con they continued on with their relationship. So now Tyrone started coming over to the house, started to fix things, um, started to, you know, help out with some bills and things. But here's the thing that happens. When you are doing your own hustle and you plan, what you can't do is get caught up in your own hustle. And all of a sudden, Cozy wanted more time. Because now that she's the other woman, he's got to do the other thing. She wants more time. I don't see you enough. I want to go out and do stuff. So they plan this date. She wants to go on a proper date. Has the date. She gets all dressed up, gets ready. No go. He does not show up. He no shows her. No shows on the date. So now we're in June. We're in summertime of the following year. And she is on vacation. And she is awakened by a text at Three, at like 3 a.m. She's woken up and it's a second phone number. Like he had two phones, but it is a picture of him from this phone. So someone sent a picture of him asleep at 3 a.m. She gets a text message that shows a picture of Tyrone asleep at 3 a.m. So she texts back like, what are you, what are you doing? And the text, the person replies back and says, oh, I'm getting ready for work. But she's like, that's not, this is not what he normally does. Like I know his schedule. She calls the number. And Emily answers the phone. She said, this, this is his wife. We have been together for 20 years. We have been married for five years. We have kids together. And she said, 20. She said, Cozy said, they had the calmest conversation. And then all of a sudden, it was like they were besties. Now, Emily is asking for you know advice. What should I do? And can we do all of these things? Fast forward through all of this, guys. At the end of this whole story, Tyrone and Emily end up going to therapy to work things out. After having this confrontation, Cozy continued the side chick relationship for about three more weeks. And then she walked away and ended it. And ended it. And it not cozy trifling. It's when you know you entangled and you, you know, listen, she made an adult decision. And then, and that was that. Not fight me. Cozy, please. We're not fighting. <laughs> no fighting. Okay. Are you ready for tonight's entanglement? I need to see drinking snack emojis for tonight's entanglement. I, I think tonight's entanglement is is a very straightforward one. I've been telling y'all this tonight's entanglement has all the great uh, entanglement basics. We've got betrayal. We've got secret messages. We might have a little a little vandalism, maybe damage of property, maybe. I don't. We're gonna have to find out. But uh, tonight's entanglement guest. <laughs> oh, and she's nervous, y'all. Okay, she's nervous. Oh. Get back in the box. Not, not, not you left the box. Not you left the box. Oh. Okay. If y'all are just joining us, welcome to Entanglements with me. It's Jilly Baby. We do this on Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard.
have my ex-boyfriend, uh, John. Okay, we'll go John, okay. And then we have his ex-girlfriend, Kat. Kat, okay. So we have Kat. All right, so just the three. Lo you, just the John, three. and Kat. Okay. Yes. Great. So let's start from the beginning. Like, when, when does this start? What time period? So this is about the end, like the mid to end of November 2020. Oh, so, co so we're in COVID. Okay. We're in COVID. Okay. Okay. And um, I met this guy on Tinder. So you mean um, John. His name is John. Okay. Yes, John. I met on Tinder. Um, and he was looking for a relationship on Tinder. That was red flag number one. <laughs> Pause right here. In the comments. Are people on Tinder looking for serious relationships? Is Tinder the spot to go to? That's not the hell. Not the hell. Not Tinder swindler. Okay. <laughs> but but John said when you met that he was looking for a relationship, not a hookup. Correct. He okay. made it very apparent that uh, you know, oh, I think you're beautiful. I'd love to see you. I'd love to take you out. Okay. I'm looking for something serious, not anything casual. Okay. All and right. um, from there, we started texting. And much like everybody else, it's a good morning, beautiful. I hope you have a wonderful day. All of this really nice stuff. Okay. And how he, long? It, how long is this going on? So you 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 um, matched on Tinder, and then you immediately exchanged phone numbers. Uh, like maybe t maybe a day or two, okay. um, until we exchanged phone numbers. And then uh, the text messages for like about about a week and a half, two weeks. Okay. And then um, he informs me that he had a softball tournament, um, and that he would like me to come. And I told him, and "Oh, that was well, gonna be, that was going to be your first meeting at his softball." That would have been tournament. our first meeting, okay. you know, at, at his after his softball tournament, um, or you know, whatever during his softball tournament, whenever uh, it would have been that I would have gotten there. Okay, before um, we get any before we get any further, can you please describe John for us? Um, he's about five ten. Okay. Uh, he was heavy set. I don't know okay. how how heavy. He was heavy set, not too big. Okay. Um, light skin. He's Cuban, like okay. a white Cuban. Um, okay. he has a honker of a nose. That's the big. That's the biggest thing you could think about him. So he had a big rap? nose. Was that was he like? Is that your type? Like no, he's he's not my type usually, and he was so, bald. So he's why not my usual type? What what made you sweat? Right, were you just like speed swiping and you just was like, you were playing like Tinder roulette? Just yes, to be honest with you, I did accidentally swipe right on him. Ah! I did, <laughs> Not like, like I said, that honker. Oh my god, I'll, I'll post it on my Instagram after this. That nose is huge, okay? Okay, but, but in, he, at the he, time, at the time, it wasn't huge enough to, to for you to unmatch because you were texting well, and doing this, okay? Okay. <laughs> It wasn't big enough for me to unmatch, but it was big enough for me to be like, skirt, skirt, hold on, okay. earn this, okay. earn it. <laughs> I don't okay. want to okay. just link up with you. Let okay. me see that you're really interested in me. Okay. So okay. he really, he really showed it. Like I said, he showed the initiative. He sh he shared a lot of um, texts and everything. And then his tournament came up. He wanted me to come. Okay. My my kids were out of town. Like my whole family was out of town, so my house was empty. And me and my home girl, we were over here. We were drinking and carrying on. And I was like, you know what? Let's go pop up to the tournament. And she was like, for real? I said, yeah. Come on, let's go pop up. Let's get dressed and let's go. Well, we both got too drunk to drive, so <laughs> we were pre gaming while we were getting ready. And um, we, I, I called him instead. And I was like, or I texted him, and I was like, hey. Um, I was going to come. I was going to surprise you. I know I said I wasn't going to come, but um, maybe you can pop over. My friend is here, so it's not anything, you know, cryptic. Like, you're not going to be alone with me. I'm not going to be alone with you. My friend's here. Come over. Come okay, have a drink. So, come smoke so, a wine. So we are, we are two, three weeks in. 
Yes, this is December 5th of 2020. This is so actually his birthday, and I didn't know it was his birthday. So you're two, three weeks in. You don't go to the tournament, but you invite him over to your place. Did you, and you felt you felt safe about, about doing that? Because some people wouldn't feel safe about, like, we're going to meet first at my home. Yeah, so I I felt comfortable because my friend was here, and I I have a happy little friend that's okay. pink and metal. <laughs> so okay. nothing was gonna happen to me. Got you. Okay. Well, I live in Florida. It's a stand your ground state. So if he would have walked through the door crazy, it would have been on. Okay, so you invited him. Just said come over after the yes, game I did. and just come like like meet and then hang out. Okay. Has anybody right. in the comments anybody had your first meeting at the house? Maybe in your younger days, <laughs> on and pop. Yes, sometimes it's happened. No, yes, okay. Um, all right, so you invited him over, and I did. And he said, yeah. um, so yeah, he it so <laughs> he said, okay, you know, I'll let you know after the um after the tournament, and then like maybe 10, 15 minutes later, he was like, actually, we lost the first game. Um, I can be on my way in like. 15 20 minutes i was like okay. all right cool it was right. about 15 minutes from my house so we took a couple shots and then he was uh then he what was are here. you taking shots of just so i can gauge what kind of liquor uh you were on i i drink tequila anyway so i was drinking i just tequila. knew it was i just i knew it was i always tequila. drink tequila though right now i'm drinking i'm drinking bacardi limon but normally <laughs> i drink tequila <laughs> okay so John says I'll be over in 15 or whatever, and you take you take a, a another a liquid courage shot yes. uh, for me, President. All right, and he comes over, and he and my friend and I uh, are hanging out. We we drink, we smoke a blunt. He asked if he could use the bathroom. I pointed him to the hallway bathroom. My friend asked me, "How you feeling? What are you thinking?" I said, are you ready to go? She said, I'm ready to go if I can go. I said, you can go. She said, okay. I said, he's not going to be here much longer. I'll text you when he leaves. Okay. So, All right. Hold on um, real quick. In the comments, has anybody here in the comments been the wing person, like, for the first meeting? Have you? Has anybody here been the wing woman, wingman for a first-time meeting? And do, do you stay the whole way? Listen. Okay, so you sent her on her way. You she you yeah, said I sent her on her way. I said it's okay. I'm good. You know, so um she she left and he and I just sat here and talked some more. Um we finished the the blunt. Um he asked me if he could come back over. He had to go um to his birthday dinner with his mom and his sister. Okay. Um and now his, in person, in person you, you described the picture, but in person you was feeling him, you yeah. Yes. In person, I was feeling him. The okay. honker wasn't so honkerish in person. Um, and he was kind of cute for a bald guy. Okay. All right. So it was all good. He still so had dark features. I like dark features. And he still had dark features. So it, he, he, looked, he looked good. He looked good. He was hairy. He was like a bear, a big old bear. I loved it. You like him hairy? Like, oh, like a what? You like him hairy? I like a I like a berry. <laughs> oh, I, I, I like, like a bear. I like, I like a bear. Oh, you like a berry. Yeah. Oh, you like the bear. Y'all spend the bear. Y'all spend the like berry. Big, <laughs> big I, hairy man. He's very I, masculine. I, I, I can't. I can't. What a that. good. What a good cologne. Ooh. But dark don't you feel weird when it brushes? Oh, I could just. No, I can not, feel not it bushy. Now when it not bushy, oh, but you know, oh, got hairy oh, arms. Got oh, hairy arms. No, no, right. no, not right, right, oh. right, right. not a bush. No, 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 no. Okay. Just you know, pleasantly hairy. No. Uh, that's the oxymoron. Oh, no. Things don't go together. All right. Well, so, so your first meeting we'll talk about it more. Fine. He has to go to his birthday dinner. You guys make yes. plans to meet up again, or yes. So he said uh, to me, you know, after my birthday dinner, I'll hit you up and I'll uh, I'll come back over if you're okay with that. And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And, um, you know, I walked him out. This was, this was really not much longer after my friend left. This was maybe 10, 15 minutes after she left. Um, and he, he asked to kiss me. He was very, very uh, respectful. And I told him, I was like, ooh, consent is sexy. And I let him kiss me. <laughs> so we kissed. We said our first kiss Did at my door. See? Hold on. Did y'all see her shimmy right here? 
Did y'all hear, see her see consent is sexy. <laughs> oh, I, consent is sexy. <laughs> consent. Ooh, that's the consent dance. Yes. Okay. All right. So we asked <laughs> to kiss you. It yes. was a nice, give you a nice kiss. And yes. went and went on his way. He said he'll he'll call you after the birthday dinner to see if he'd come back over. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okay. All right. We like so. it. Red flag number two. Here we go. Uh -oh. He hits me up at 4 a.m. 4. And 4 a.m. And tells me that he is outside of my house. And I said, oh. He said, yeah, I'm dying to see you. Can you please come outside? And I said, uh, I can come to the screen door. <laughs> I can come to the screen door. And I was sleeping, so I'm not very pleasant right now. And he said, I'm sorry if I woke you, but did I you couldn't take, I couldn't did, wait to see you. Did you take your pink metal with you to the door? Correct. And okay. put it behind the and put it behind the door and okay. you know, held open my screen door with this hand uh -huh, uh -huh. and held everything else right I feel here. Like somebody was I'm smacking you to be like, that was period. not a good idea. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And and had it behind the other door. I was like, what's up? Yes, peace be. And um okay. okay. Oh, hold, hold on one second. Go go sit down. If y'all okay, sorry. <laughs> entanglement so, with me, it's Jilly Baby. Hang on. We're here <laughs> getting tonight's entanglement with Queen Lala. It's Lala, John, and Kat are part of this entanglement. Mid November of 2020, Lala meets John on Tinder. They swipe. She accidentally swipe right on him. Um, but uh they start texting off the app. Uh, for a couple of days, then two weeks later, John, they've had great conversation. John says, hey, I've got this softball tournament. I would love for you to, like, come. We can meet there. And, you know, after the game, maybe hang out. Lala had her best friend and said, you know what, well, maybe. We'll see. So she's at home drinking with her best friend. They drink a little bit too much. So you know when you guys start drinking, you're like, yeah, we should go. You get, you always want to go somewhere when you went after you drink. So she's like, we should go to the game. But... We're too drunk to drive and to get there. So she calls John and says, hey, listen, not going to make it, but you can come over to my place afterwards. Uh, you know, we can meet and we can hang out. Now, Lala felt comfortable doing this because her friend was there with her. So it wasn't by herself. Her kids, her family, everybody was gone. And she uh, has, a, as Key said in the comments, she had her peace be still. Again, I, I want to come over and see you some more. He asked to kiss her before he leaves. She said it was a very nice pleasant consensual kiss and he said I'll, I'll call you after my birthday dinner so and the shimmy um i'll call you after my birthday dinner. now the night goes on it gets late she falls asleep it's late at night all of a sudden 4 a.m her phone goes off 4 a.m text message i don't know this is these are not these are not business hours right these are not normal business hours 4 a.m text message and the text message says I am outside of your house. I would I couldn't wait to see you. I would love to see you. Can you come outside? Come outside. Yeah. This is where we're at in the story, folks. Caught up now. All right. So you go and you say, I'll meet you at the screen door. Door, screen door closed, lock, peace be still behind the door. And what and what what transpires in this conversation here? So <laughs> it's 4 a.m. It was his birthday. This man is drunk at my door. <laughs> this man is drunk at my door. You're so beautiful. Real, real heavy Spanish <laughs> accent, slurring all over himself. I laugh. I put my piece down. I go get him a water and I sit him down outside on the porch. You don't and, let him um, in the house. All right, good. No, 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 no. I have little dogs, not pit bulls anymore. <laughs> I have ankle biters. There was no way he was coming in this house. Okay. All right. So okay. I, I sat him outside, and we we talked for a little bit, and he sobered up a little bit and asked if he could take me to breakfast, and I said, "Well, it's the least you can do." <laughs> okay. So um, we went to Denny's and had breakfast and had a nice conversation over breakfast um just about what kind of man he is and um uh so you're having, you're for having, his partner 
you're having What's a up? you're having a kind of man he is conversation after he showed up to the house drunk at four. Okay, just yep, yep, yep. This is this not well. He and, and he had a, he had some water. Okay. He was sitting outside. You know, he he got he got you know a little better. And okay. it was about it was about six o'clock. We went over to Denny's, okay. and um, yeah, we like I said, we had a nice conversation. He uh, told me about the type of person he is, the type of man he is in a relationship, the type of things he brings to the table, and all of that sort of thing. Um, I asked him if he spoils women. He said he spoils women. Does he, you know, does he give his time? What kind of time does he? I try to give all of my time. I really try to invest in somebody that I'm getting serious with. So, so he's answering all of these questions. He's saying all the right things for you in this moment. All of the things yeah. that you're looking for, he's 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 checking, checking them off. He's checking off the boxes, and um, he he then uh, we we wrap everything up. Let me let me also say he drove me to Denny's, and he already has a a very beat up uh, Chrysler. 300 like a 2005 and he got in a bad accident where the whole front of the car is done the his driver back seat door is like tied down with zip not zip ties you know the 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 stretchy ties the tethers for like your your trunk tied with that ma'am the passenger side let me, it's let me. crammed in, so he has to like lift and like shake the door, ma'am, to put me in the car, ma'am. So and take me out. I got, let me of get the this, car. Let me let me let me get this straight. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He comes over at four a.m. drunk, slurring all over himself. You sober him up a little bit. Says he wants to take you to breakfast. Yes, so me. you. Walk to the car. Yes, I do. You see the car being held together on hopes, dreams, and zip ties. And prayer. And prayer. Don't forget prayer. And you let him put you in the car. Correct. And you go to breakfast. I see where you're coming from, but um, I was hungry, and it was 6 a.m., and he woke me up. So I deserved and you felt that safe. grand slam. You I deserved safe. the grand slam and orange safe. juice. You felt safe in the car? I felt all right. <laughs> I felt okay. I'm not gonna say I felt great. I'm not gonna say I felt confident. Okay. But I felt okay. Okay. He he held me close. No, so he I felt didn't. no extra. he didn't. He didn't, hold, he didn't hold you close. You were sitting close because there wasn't much car left to sit in because it had been rammed in. Okay. I'm Correct. Just, okay. Correct. All right. So anyway, Correct. all right. All right. Mm. All right. So you go, yeah, yeah. You, you ride in the question, you ride in the Flintstone car at this point. <laughs> and you get yes. to practice, you have this conversation. He says all of these right things. Check With everything the everything car. You have a great yeah. thing. You leave, you get back in the car. Yes. It still look okay. And you get home safely. Clearly, because you're here with us today, you're fine, but a car ride home, okay. Yeah. And, we go uh, we go to his house. He needed a charger or something. We go to his house. Um, and then from there he drives me back um near my house. He tells me that he has another softball game. And what, what I like to call near your house. What is driving you to near your house? So he drove me near my house. The the park was like maybe is is like maybe ten minutes from here, the ballpark. Okay. So we were about ten minutes from my house, and he went and he played his baseball game. I sat in the car in my uh little little shorts and stuff because I just was asleep. <laughs> so I watched from the car. And then he takes me home um, and he asked me if he could text me later. I said, absolutely. And uh, that time he kissed me on the cheek. 
because he knew he was drunk and tasted like alcohol. So he kissed me on the cheek and he went about his way. And from, from here, uh, we pretty much uh, spent every day together. And I'm not exaggerating when I say every day. We would both get off of work. We'd meet at my house. I got off before him. He would then come over after his job. He'd get, he'd get a shower, come over, be with me till early morning hours, go home. Or uh, after maybe about... After maybe about two two weeks of this, um, he starts spending the night, and um, he's spending the night. He's so here how, with my family. How, how long is this happening now? So he's this is over like so a this month. This is like two months. This is not. So this goes on. This goes on for about. kids so much so and so much like 15 months okay yep okay. and um so she started calling him dad. So he is like around in, him a lot. At this point in time, he is like ingrained in your life now. So he is like yes. family. You guys are together. That is your man. Yes. It's, it's understood of, of all the things that are, are happening. Okay. Yes. We go to zoo um, lights for Christmas. We're doing all, all of the family things and all, all of this stuff. Are He's you driving? Are, are you driving? House. You, I'm driving now. Okay. Yes, I'm driving. Like, baby, I don't think I'm the baby driving. should be in the car. I don't think that's no. safe. I want to make sure. Okay. No. Now, when it was just me and him, he he definitely drove. But when it was me, him, and my kids, he would drive my car. Okay. Oh, you letting him drive your car? Yeah, I got that's good insurance. Very, no, I got I'm liberty. I got liberty bibbity. I got I'm, liberty bibbity. He was I'm, able to. I'm just saying, there's layers to this dating thing. Y'all ladies know that's a that. How long do y'all wait before you let the man you date and drive your car? It was only a month for me, y'all. Right, well, Not even. Never in the comments. I'm asking Not in the even. comments. You don't drive my okay. All right. Now I have to ask at this point because it's two, three months. So the 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 I mean, y'all are sleeping together at this point, right? Absolutely. And it's, Absolutely. it's a, how is it in the bedroom? Like I'm a, it's it was phenomenal. It was great. Phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was some good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, Phenomenal, y'all. Y'all heard that? A lot of people don't phenomenal. use that word. She said phenomenally. Phenomenal. I was a woman that was phenomenal. Oh, <laughs> to him. Okay, all right. So we're at this point now. He's it, it, it's going well. He the family loves him. He does doing all this. Yeah, so yeah. what starts that? What what what? When does this start to clearly like? So it goes a little bit. Goes a little bit. Uh, you know, kind of kind of west southwest. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, around, around like January, the middle of January. So this is about a month and a half now. Okay. Um, and he's like, he comes over, he's like, I'm done. I, I gotta see you. You know, I haven't seen you in like a day or two and I don't like it. I'm coming over. I was like, well, you know, you gotta be to work. Oh, F that work, whatever, whatever. Oh, you know, you got your game. Oh, but you can put on the game. Okay. So he comes over, I put on. University of Miami game. No, no, no. Excuse me. The Miami Heat game. Okay. And he lays in the middle of the bed and passes out. Now, when he passes out, his phone is laying on his chest. And I can see, I can see a number. I can see a contact. Oh, it's a contact. And I looked heavier at it and it said cat. And I said, cat. Now, mind you, we've had a lot of conversation during this time. 
And um, unfortunately, he informs me that he was in his last three or four months of, oh God, of probation uh, for uh, a, an entanglement of his own uh, back, in, probation. back in 2019. Yes, he had gotten to a domestic with his ex-girlfriend but it wasn't a domestic. It was more like they were yelling at each other and the neighbor called because they saw him knocking over trash cans and yelling and punching items and he broke his hands and went okay. to jail. And okay. went to jail for the night, I believe. He had got arraigned, he posted bond and then he went to court and they put him on probation. Okay, so he's got this history, back history of being on probation. Yes. So that and, this, that and it was with this particular woman that was on his phone. So when I saw the name Cat, I was like, "What the? Why? Why? Why is he talking to Cat? Why is Cat popped okay. up on his phone? What okay. is that about?" Okay. So, so, you, so you had heard the name before when you saw this. I had heard the name before when I saw it. Okay. So I had woke. I had woke him up. Hey, 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 who? Why you got cat open on your phone? He was like, huh? And I beat his chest. I said, hey, why you got cat on your phone? Oh, oh, oh it just probably is like a, 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 a slip or something. You know, oh, you know your name. You know your name. Your name's okay. Uh, it ain't no damn, it ain't no dang cat. It, oh, maybe I was trying to text you. you. Okay. So maybe you're trying to text me and you clicked her on accident. What, in your sleep? Yeah, in my sleep. Okay, in your sleep. All right. So that was pretty much the end of it. I, I he was like I said, he was very groggy when he came over. So it, it yeah, was a very good scared, possibility. You, you, you scared the little life out of him, slapping somebody up. You, you, in the comments, y'all y'all know has anybody ever just woke you up instantly and just been interrogating you and you don't know what the heck is happening? <laughs> A beautiful chest. I said, "Hey." <laughs> um, okay. What they so, said. They said, "Yeah." They yes, beating yes. chest. Okay, good. <laughs> so, so someone said, somebody someone else said doing women a little love gymnastic. doing that. Women love doing that. Trying to catch you slipping, and they catch you out of your your beat their um, chest right. real quick. <laughs> so he gives you a bunch of excuses, and you're you accept it. You're like you're. I accepted it. I accepted it again because he was really groggy. The T. And the Y, you know, not many K names in between that. So, okay. so uh, if that if that's what I was under his, if that was what my name was under his phone, then that that would have been a different story. But I didn't really think about it because my name in his phone was Baby. <laughs> it had nothing to do okay. Okay. with my government name. All but right. I accepted it at the time. Okay. All right. You moved on. Yes. So. Fast forward, we're in February, uh, just before Valentine's Day. Uh, okay. We're planning on going to Orlando for Valentine's Day and um, all of this stuff, but I had a medical emergency. I jumped up out of bed really, really hard and um, I herniated my, my belly button. I Ooh. actually had like a, a tear in my abdomen already from having my baby that was already pre-existing, but I didn't do anything about it. I didn't, I, I didn't really specifically know about it. I didn't finish up my checkups and I, yep, I popped my hernia out okay. um, and went to the hospital. They pushed it back in, but they were like, uh, we already put into your insurance that it was <laughs> emergency surgery. So we're still going to go in there and close it up. I was like, all right, cool. So um, I got my surgery. Okay. And he was really worried for me. I was in contact with me. He didn't let me eat that hospital food. He sent me food, um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two days on Uber Eats to my room. He wasn't okay. allowed to come to my room um, and stay with me. Otherwise, he would have because of COVID. Okay. Um, he was pretty much like staked out waiting. He was going to work. He was freaked out. He's at the house helping with the girls, helping my grandma, everything while I'm in the hospital. Okay. Um, and then he comes and he picks me up from the hospital two days later and brings me home. He takes the day off to take care of me and he leaves at about four o'clock. He tells me he's going to go do um, laundry about four o'clock. He tells me he's going to go do laundry at his sister's house, um, not too far from my house and then that he was going to go home. 
Okay. Um, so he left and uh, he helped me. He helped me a lot that day. He helped me with like my piercing. He put my piercing back in for me. He your piercing um, back in. I have an intimate, have an intimate piercing and I have, I always have these long nails. So I wasn't sure. able to put my, yeah, put yeah, yeah. My, back in your yeah. Oh. Stuck it back in there. Twirled the little teeny, teeny ball with them big, big, big fingers and put it back on for me. Yep. Anybody and in then, here uh, in the comments, anybody admitting to having a intimate piercing? Anybody, anybody in here got a, anybody else got a little. Oh, got one. Oh, drop a crown in the comment. <laughs> <laughs> Stem some crowns real quick for me and my piercing. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So he was, so he was helping. Like, so you had this surgery. He's been very attentive, being very helpful, very involved. All right. So yes, he helps you with all these things. Then, then, what starts to happen from here? So now, he gets me home, and um. He, I had asked him for the, I had asked him for my money, my money for my nails. He was paying for my nails every, every two weeks at this point, um, in our relationship. So he's paying for my nails. I was like, Hey, wait on that cash app. So I go Juju. And he was like, uh, ain't got no cash app for you. I said, huh? Nah, I have to pull from my 401k if you want me to do something like that. And I don't think that I should be pulling from my 401k for your nails. And I was like, uh, okay, so what? I got to wait a week. Like, what, what are we talking here? So everything starts to kind of get funny from here. Um, he, he doesn't give me the money for my nails. Okay. Then he's, he's texting less and coming over less. And I'm like, what's going on? Over how like, much, oh, much time is this? Like a week? This is, this is maybe this is maybe a maybe a couple days. This is only like three or four days. Okay. And he's not coming over. He's not and he's not really answering his phone. And you know, there's there are times like he's not supposed to be on his phone. He he works for the airport. He's not really uh -huh. supposed to be on his phone, but he would still you know text me or he would still call me real quick. Go to the little right. private area and could call me. There wasn't one. He wasn't doing that. So I was okay. like, what is going on? What is, what is up with my right. man? What's going on with him? Mm -hmm. It's a couple days before Valentine's Day. Like, what is going on? Um, and again, the nails, the, the nails was a big thing for me because again, this is a couple days before Valentine's Day. We're about to go out of town. What's going on? Why you don't you have any money? Right. So um, from there, he, he had messaged me something really weird. And he was just like, he messaged me on Facebook, which was also weird. He normally would text me or message me on WhatsApp. He messaged me on Facebook and he was like, oh, I'm, um, I'm, I'm hot and ready. And I, my girlfriend don't want to touch me. And I was like, who is oh. your girlfriend? He said, who do you think is my girlfriend? I said, I don't know. Is it Cat? Are you talking to Cat? He said, I haven't talked to Cat in a long time. What are you talking about? And I said, oh, well, I figured that maybe Cat was your girlfriend because you haven't been over here and you haven't been talking to me. So you, uh, you clearly talking to somebody else. He informed me that he already had cat and that um <laughs> wait recently you don't i don't know what it meant but oh, he, he told did. me i already had her i already had her and i and and i don't i don't need to go over there again and i said again i said let me let me go let me go look at something so i i closed his message bubble and i go to his uh, page his profile and I click his friends and in his friends I type cat I, I look at the cats there's only like five of them three of which are like his aunt his cousin they have the same last name so I'm like all right it's not these women and then the other one was gay was a lesbian with les with with a with a kids and her girlfriend okay and then there was cat so I messaged Kat and I asked her, 
um are you are you still with john um john his last name and she said yeah he was with me this morning i said huh he was with you this morning so i call her when i call her she answers she said yeah he was with me this morning he came over and we were together and then he went to work i said oh really well i hate to inform you but i'm his girl i'm his girlfriend and he was over here this morning too and then he told me he was going to work. She said, well, I don't know how that happened when he was here. I said, okay, I was lying. But <laughs> that, that's, that's what she informed me. Okay, uh, how long has this been happening? Oh, we broke up and it kind of never stops. He's just somebody that I see every now and then. I said, is he your boyfriend still? She said, he's not my boyfriend still. He's just somebody that I see every now and then. She said, I'm really not trying to get y'all riled up. I'm really not trying to get y'all in trouble. You should really just let him explain this to you and give him a, ch <laughs> give him a chance. I said, are you telling me to stay with this man? She, she said, said, give him a chance? Give him a chance. Give him a chance to explain himself. Give him a chance. I said, give him a... Are you telling me to let this man continue to... To play me? To cheat on me? Because he's cheating on me. When was he was with you this morning? You guys were intimate this morning? Like be, be, uh, you know, f f uh, unfiltered with me. You know, be, be. If you're gonna tell me, like tell me. She said he was doing graphic things to me this morning. She went into it. You know, he was doing this and he was doing that, and he does it every day. Lala, I don't know what to tell you. I said, I don't know how he does it every day when he's with me every day. How are you explaining this to me? What do you mean? Can what do you, you mean? tell us in a PC way? What, what kind he, of he was giving me, uh, he was having an oral fixation on my fronts and he was having an oral fixation on my backs. And he was eating eating the front and eating the back. That's what she said. And, he, and, and I am slobbing on the cob the corn on the cob like it, it is what it is we are intimate <laughs> and i and, and she also informed me that they were uh unprotected when he and i were also unprotected so he was she trying really told you that that morning she or that was, night she was with he was he slob, with her, that, that morning that, that morning, morning and then he came to see you in a slob on the knob Corn on the cob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He both, both them. Both them. Okay. Yeah, both of us. Both of us that morning. Uh, but not really. He wanted me that morning and I didn't give it to him. So he went over there to her. And uh they did what they did and he went to work. And then he was like, Why are you not giving me none, girl? And I was like, Why don't you ask Kat? <laughs> Okay, so that's how you and confronted him about it. That's how you confronted pretty much, him. Pretty much, I was like, uh, I said, you don't need, you don't need nothing from me, because you already got it from Cat. He said, what are you talking about? I said, I just got done talking to Cat, and then he pretty much went nuclear from there and called me everything but a saint. Oh, you fat this. Oh, you ugly that. Oh, you stink. Oh, she know how to do it better than you. Oh, this all that i said oh, perfect so then nothing else needs to happen here like it is what it is if that's what you want to do by all means like that's that's your that's her man that's her man before me so have your man back girl that's your man okay. so but he um uh oh you're fine <laughs> that that's john taking off that's that's John. That's, that's John, John leaving. That, yeah, that, that, leaving that, the that, atmosphere. That was yeah, where. Yeah, that's that, where that, I was gonna send him. Yeah, I was gonna. Um, I was gonna send him to the moon. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> he <laughs> oh. he uh, he got nasty very fast, and I got nasty back. And then he came back very remorseful um, the next day. Wait. So you he, you spew all of these nasty things, and then he. And you let him come back. You hear him out. No, no, no. 
<laughs> what? 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 No, I um, I I regret to inform him that he uh, his subscription has ended here, <laughs> okay, and okay. that uh, he uh, can kindly pick up his things out of the barbecue. What'd you do to his things? I bleached them and I lit them on fire. What? Hold on now. What kind of things? Are we talking clothes and shoes? What are we talking? We're talking clothes, uh, social security card, and birth certificate because I wish he was never born. Is his rip? Does, is he on the app under the name Unheard Thoughts? Because because this sounds very familiar to a very original <laughs> entanglement that we had a long time. Oh my god! Um, I don't know. I don't think it's enough. I don't know him to be on here. I don't know him to be on here. But um, wait, from, from okay, there, wait, so, hold on. So you have this nuclear confrontation say all yeah. of these things he leaves and as soon as he leaves you are so upset that you go grab all of his things which include his identity paperwork all of these stuff and you go out to the barbecue and you just let it burn let it burn yes ma'am um and he he, <laughs> he asked for his laundry pods that he left here and i kindly set them outside I didn't do nothing he asked to the for his pod. Pod, like the detergent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted his laundry pods. You know, I mean, he must have been he must have been broke enough. You know what I mean? He had the beat up car and he couldn't pay for my nails. I mean, I was starting to believe that he was really broke. You know what I mean? So I put his laundry pads out on there, but I told him that the rest of his stuff was in the barbecue, and uh, he didn't believe me. And then he he uh, he he knows me. I'm the queen of receipts. He asked me for my receipts. And I sent him my receipts with the, you know, the barbecue, stoking, stoking the barbecue. I sent him a video of me stoking the barbecue. Not the boomerang of you barbecuing his stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Stoking it, <laughs> moving it around. Can y'all can y'all visualize this? Can y'all visualize it? <laughs> okay okay all right all right all right okay so you send him these things is this that is this the the end of the absolutely not this is my crazy girl button cheating on me i'm losing my whole mind i don't know who i am anymore who am i am who am i somebody tell me because i forgot who i am for you to think that you could cheat on me. I forgot who I was. Forgot my I forgot my royalty. I forgot my queendom. I forgot my crown. I'm pretty sure my hair was crazy. My crown fell off. I picked it up. I dusted it off. It dropped it again. It was a mess. It did not stop from here. From here, this man continued to text me and call me and beg me. I'm so sorry. I'll never talk to her again. Will you give me a baby? Will I give you a baby? I said, yeah, you know when I'll give you a baby? He said, how, how yeah, tell me, what do you, what can, how, how can we have this baby? I said, don't you ever talk to her again. Don't ever in your life talk to her again. I know that this woman is involved with your family. I'm not allowed to meet your mom. I'm not allowed to meet your sister, but this woman is around your family. Y'all are going to brunches. Y'all are going to lunches. You playing daddy to her kids. You playing daddy over here to my kids. You playing house over here. You playing house over there. You're not having a double life with me. You can have me and mine, or you can have her and hers. So and you he, still wanted him? You were you not. You did. Okay, not. you were playing it. Okay, you were just playing it. It's okay. just, I'm just letting him know this is the way back to me if he would have done this i don't know I, to be honest with you i don't know i don't know what would have happened only only because i am i am one of the stupid women in the world that's like i'll do it for the kids only for the fact because my daughter was calling him dad and it was kind of early on after my husband passed so i was a little i was a little insecure still okay. you know what i mean i'm okay. still going through some stuff i'm still going through some trauma gotcha. so it, it was comfortable I feel like maybe I would have if he would have. Okay. But okay. he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. So I said, I'm not giving you no baby then. Stop talking to me. Stop asking me. Okay. Leave me alone. I'm going to tell yeah. my grandma. <laughs> Leave okay. me alone. Okay. Right? So from here, 
we're talking this is maybe now this is maybe now six five or six days after my hernia repair surgery let's let's remind the audience that i just had surgery this is a lot in five days yes 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 okay so he um <laughs> this was only five days y'all so, this was only yeah, five days. this is this is only a so this is like i had this i had got out of the hospital on thursday this conversation with cat happened on friday and by saturday sunday he's begging me to come back he's begging me to come to the softball game all this stuff so this is like four days now day five i am sitting here and i'm stirring we oh so excuse me so we decided you know i gave him the big f bomb and said get out of my life okay and i'm sitting here and i'm stirring and i'm playing all these 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 details out and 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 thinking about him with her intimately and i'm getting just sick to my stomach and so i grab my keys and i get in my car my grandma is like you're not supposed to drive i said my doctor said i can drive after five days it's been five days today <laughs> i'm driving so i go and i get in my car and i drive about um he lives about 50 he lives about 20 minutes from my house, maybe 20, 30, 20, 30 minutes, depending on traffic um, from my house. And so I drove over to his apartment and I wait, I wait and I wait and I wait. I texted him and I asked hold him. Hold on, hold on real quick. In the comments, anybody, any of y'all ever done this? Ladies, any of y'all ever driven over out of anger and you just drove and you just waited outside somebody's house? Oh, oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Sure did. Not the sure did. Okay. They did. Okay. So Thank you, ladies. <laughs> no, there's some guys. Ladies. The I'm not looking at these comments, so <laughs> I'm only relying on you. Okay. Thank you, ladies. So you drive, so you drive over there. Yes. In in this state, you've been stewing about everything that's happened. You drive over there and you just park and wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I um I look on Snapchat, and I see he's not there. He's not in ghost mode. So I see that he's not at his house. So I text him, hey, where you at? What you doing? Oh, I'm at work. I'm working. I said, hmm, okay. Now, I live in, I live in Miami and he uh, is at like by Miami airport, but his location is informing me that he's in Doral, which is about 10 minutes north of the airport y'all gotta remember y'all don't be paying attention to y'all locations y'all be sharing and turning stuff on be forgetting to turn stuff off if y'all gonna be sick oh gosh okay so um i sent a screen i sent a screenshot to kathy to cat and uh she <laughs> she texts him and sends him the same thing and he tells me, he texts me and he says, I'm just picking something up. I'm on my way home. I wait, said, wait, wait. you send a screenshot of his location to Kat and say what? And said, is this your house? Uh -huh. And she didn't respond. She sent it to him. I learned this later that she sent it to him. Okay. Um, and he the 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 way that i figured it out was that he said i'm i'm just picking something up over here i'll be on my way uh shortly i feel like she sent it to him or she showed it to him whatever but he ended up texting me shortly after i sent it to her and was like i'm on my way home i'm okay. just picking something up and then i'm on my way home okay and so I'm sitting there and I'm stirring and I'm stirring and I have to use the bathroom. So I go use the bathroom at his pool bathroom and I go to go back out to my car and I see him. I see him see me. <laughs> and when he saw me see him see me. <laughs> how, wait, how far about how far away are you? Like how far? I'm like, I'm in my mind. I'm looking at him. He's like. I mean, I could throw something at him. I could throw it. 
maybe if I was Hercules, I could re- I could throw it. I could I could throw it at him. Okay. You know, maybe like a wrecking ball. Okay. Could you get him. Con- you make eye contact though. We make eye contact. <laughs> it's just close enough that we make eye contact. He's pulling into his like gated parking lot. Okay. And sees me, see him, see me. And he <laughs> backs out. I said, Oh, really? And he does backs out, speeds off. I said, Oh, so I jumped in my car and I chased him. I don't know why. I don't know why. Wait. I don't know why. Ma'am. I don't know why, but I chased them. Hold on. Come back to me. Come, come back okay. to me. Come back okay. to me. Okay. Chase them. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I, said, I think this is the first. No, nah, this isn't our first high speed chase. Um, <laughs> go to use the bathroom. You're coming out from the bathroom. You're going back to your car. And he pulls in. Continue my stake out. Right. To wait for him to and come pull see, me his. You see him pull in. Okay. You make eye contact. So this is like the, I don't know if y'all have seen, uh, go with me, y'all. Y'all seen that new meme reel where it's like Medea voice. So y'all had a moment like, he see me? You see me? I see me. Can you see me? He can see me? You can see me. Okay, so y'all had a little, you see me moment. Okay? And he decides to back out <laughs> and take off. You are five days post-op on your abdomen five days post-operation in your abdomen you run your post-op i got two minutes before i can cuss you run your post-op self into your car and chase this man yes okay yeah all right and we're and we're we're neck and neck so much so that he's looking. Are y'all on, his, a, are y'all on like a, a freeway or are y'all? No, on no, like- no. We're we're on we're in city. We're on city uh, streets, and I'm behind him, looking in his rear view of him looking at me, looking at him, and I tell him, <laughs> looking at him in his rear view, looking at his eyes in the rear view. I go, pull over. And he said, no. <laughs> I said. I said I said, I need you to visualize. Pull the me. F over. And it's he like said, No. <laughs> you're behind him? I'm behind. So you're literally behind. like this. So you're like, like this, this. driving. You're- and I'm looking at him in his rear view. And you're going like this. And I'm looking pull at him over. going, Pull over. Pull over. And he goes, Looking at me, looking at him. No. <laughs> I said, Pull over, he said. I'm dead. No, I said yes. He said no, and then he and then he breaks hard. So I break hard and he goes into this parking lot, and I follow him into the parking lot, and he goes to stop, and I so I stopped next to him, and then he pulls off, he speeds off. I was like no, so I continue to chase him, and we get like behind the airport. He lives in like uh, airport employee housing, so he was like trying to go back home. And I pulled him, I pulled him to the side because we kind of get to where he's in this merge lane and I'm in the lane that's going to continue. So I, whoop, and I T-bone him in. There's a little bit of space here. Like if he really wanted to escape, he could go. So I skirt, skirt, and I block him in. I get out of the car and I go and I knock on his window. Well, one finger. Hey. Open the window. He said, I'm not opening the window. I said, why not? He said, because you're going to beat. Oh, it's, it's 916. You're going to beat my ass. I said, I'm not going to beat your ass. He said, you're going to beat my ass. I said, I'm not going to beat your ass. And I said, just open the door. Just open the Wait. window. And he goes, he goes, no. So I punch the window. I punch the window. And he sped off. He almost ran over my toes. I was like, no. So he pulls off, he makes a U-turn and he goes like he's heading to the highway. And I was like, oh no. So I speed behind him and I almost hit him. And instead of hitting him, I hit those things in the road and I all over the things and I speed off behind him on the highway and he gets away. So from there, I just get really, really irritated 
really frustrated and I and I pulled my favorite best friend stunt and I went to my best friend's house who shall always remain anonymous. He's a male friend of mine that is always down with my shits. So I hit him up and I said, hey, I need your car. It's like, it's like 1 a.m. I wake him up. I need your car. He said, why do you need my car? I said, you're my best friend. And when you signed up to be my best friend, your bullshit became my bullshit. And and my, my bullshit, bullshit became your you. bullshit. I'm with and you. I'm bullshitting right now. And I need your car keys. He said, okay, are you going to commit a felony? I said, no. Or excuse me. Skirt, skirt. He said, are you going to kill somebody? I said, absolutely not. He said, okay are you going to commit a felony i said possibly he said take my license plate off put it in the back seat so that if you do get pulled over you at least have the license plate but put it in the back seat and you can take the car leave your car here i said you are my alibi he said yes ma'am so i caught in my car hold on i got in, in his car hold on in the comments do y'all have this friend? One in the comments if you got this friend. One in the comments if you have a friend like this. One in the comments if you got, got a friend like this. It's not a felony. It's not a felony. I ain't killing nobody. I just need your car real quick. Might be a misdemeanor, possibly a baby felony. Okay. Baby felony. Okay, not nothing they don't, they don't, serious. They don't, they don't call them. There's no such thing as a baby felony. It's a baby felony. No, it's, it's a, a, a felony. It's a, you know what? It's a baby story. felony. Wrap, wrap the story up. Wrap the story up. <laughs> it's, it's a baby felony. So the the end of the story and how I felt better was I went over there in a nice little wig, a nice little black cat suit, nice little black uh black attire with uh my glasses and uh a you know COVID mask, and I sugared his tank. Mind you, this this car's already beat up. It's not really, you know. I don't know if he even knew that anything happened to it. Do I don't know if he. I don't know if he knows anything happened to it. But I put sugar in his tank. I put sugar in the. <laughs> I put sugar in the oil. I put uh, I put bologna on the paint. I licked the. I licked the bologna and stuck it on the paint. And then I stabbed, all four. Not all four, because if you do all four, right, right. you'll you can claim insurance. So I just slashed the back too. And I mean, I slashed them good too. I opened the scissors inside the tire and everything. And that's how I felt better. I had to wait though an hour after my felony and uh, for somebody to come and let me out of the gate because uh, the gate is a <laughs> clicker, is a remote control gate. So they got to get in with their little clicker and they got to get out with their little clicker. So I got in behind somebody, but I couldn't not get back trapped. out. So I had to wait. Not you trapped. Not you trapped at your own I was trapped. Crime. I was trapped not in my own felony. At your own crime. I was trapped in my own felony. And, I, uh, and I, I waited for somebody to come and they came. And I went to my homeboy's house and I gave him the, the, the skizzers and he got rid of them. He said, don't worry about this. I do voodoo. <laughs> he did what he do. And that was it. No more. I didn't feel no more hate. I didn't feel no more malice. And I felt great afterwards. And I wasn't pregnant. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So that's it. That's uh that's my entanglement. It must be something about my vagina because I also got one that just happened with my now ex-boyfriend. Because I was going to tell y'all, during this time that we've been waiting for this show, I had a nice, healthy relationship going on. And it ended very, very similarly. Okay, just hold Come on next that. time. Hold Come on, next on. time. We got this one another time. This but it happened lot. very similarly. Oh, and I'm still paying for that one. Oh, Jesus, help this me. A, this is a lot. To, are y'all still with me? One in the comments if y'all are still here. Jesus, are help still me. Are y'all still here? I don't know if they are anymore. This is a lot. I'm a little crazy. Just a little All right, bit. I'm going to try to get through this it's recap. my crazy please. girl button. I'm yeah. sorry. Don't cheat on me, y'all. Don't I'm cheat on me. I'm trying to get through this recap. I'm not even going to ask for drink and snacks. We're going to try to... Okay. All right. <laughs> my light, even my light was trying to leave. My light was like, nope. Um, 
Okay, we get questions after. If y'all got questions or comments, hop in the box right now. I will put you in. Um, all right, here we go. Lala is in the box. John and Kat, okay? If you're just getting here entanglements with this Jilly baby, uh, we've gone over our show time, but we've got to wrap the show up. So if you missed the story, you're about to get it right now. Um, Mid-November 2020, so this is still you know, in COVID, um, Lala meets John on Tinder. Uh, they match, but on accident, because she wasn't meaning to swiggity swipe that way. Uh, but she swiped, and John on Tinder said, you know, he was looking, he wasn't looking for anything casual. He was looking, he wanted, wanted something serious. She said this was red flag number one, because on Tinder, wanting something serious, these two things don't go together, but sure. So one to two days talking on that, they start texting off app. She says John is Cuban, light skin, a little heavy set, about 5'10. She said, not really her usual type. She said he got a big nose. It's the only thing you know. She says he got a big noggin. Anyway, texting off app, they're having good conversation. She says, okay, you know, something different. Like the vibe. John says, hey, we should meet up. I've got a softball tournament. Um, if you want to come over, we can meet, we can hang out, we can, you know, meet there, public place, all that kind of stuff. All right, great, cool. So uh, the day comes, Lala has her friend with her. She's still kind of iffy about eh, going to the softball. They start drinking and she says, you know what, let's do it. Y'all know how you get with the best friend when you start drinking and then you just, you know, your inhibitions go and you're like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Let's go, right? So, go, right? So, so she says, she okay. says, okay. Now you're echoing. Now you're again. echoing again. I'm going to just mute you. I'm going to just mute you. I'm gonna just mute you. Uh, so she... They drank, they drank a bit too much. She calls John and says, hey, um, we're not really making it, but if you wanted to come over, why don't you come over after the game? She said she felt comfortable inviting him over because one of her friend was there and her family, her kids were not there. So, so John says, sure, his game, he loses his first game, heads over. Comes over, they drink, they smoke. She said the vibe was okay, it was great. Her friend says, hey, you good? Because I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, third wheel in it, I'd like to go home. She says, I'm good. She leaves. Friend leaves. About 10 minutes later, John and Lala end their meeting. Everything went fine. Um, she says, great. He says, I got to go. I got to go to my birthday dinner, but can I text you after my dinner? Because I would love to see you again. She says, sure, no problem. As he's leaving, he asked if he can give her a kiss. She said, consent is very sexy. Okay. So nice little kiss. There, there, there's the shimmy. Nice little kiss. I'll call you after my birthday dinner. She's up, ends up falling asleep. 4 a.m. the phone rings. Now you know this either needs to be an emergency or you trying to do you trying to come over and do something strange or for, for something. 4 a.m. the message reads, I am outside your house. I'm here. Can you come outside? Now remember, she just met this man a few hours ago for the first time. So she gets that. She says, uh, no, but I'll meet you at the screen door. So she goes to the screen door. She's got her piece be still a uh, little pink and metal situation right on the other side of the door just to make sure. Sees him. Y'all, John is drunk. John is standing over there. He's drunk. He is just drunk talking. You're so beautiful. And I just love you. Just, just drunk speak, you know, sober, uh, drunk mouth speak, sober truth. And he's just drunk. All just, the drunk is drunking outside. She says, okay, he's harmless. Let me go get him some water. You can sit on the porch. Let me give you some water. Let me help you sober up. Sit on the porch, talk. Talk for a couple of hours. And he said, can I take you to breakfast? And she says, you know what? That's the least you can do for waking me up at 4 a.m. and having me out here nursing you while you're drunk. Now, as they get up to go to John's car, it is important for you to understand the state at which this car is in, okay? It is an old Chrysler, what is it, 3000? Old oh, Chrysler 3000 that has been in an accident. Just imagine a car being tethered together by zip ties, hope, prayer. Maybe I don't. I don't even know if Jesus was involved in this. But the space that is left is just enough for the driver and the passenger. The back is in. The front is not out. It is that Lala sees this. And still says, okay, gets in the car. Note, in order to get in the car, he has to basically put her in the car. Anyway, they putt-putt along 
to Denny's, have breakfast. As they're having breakfast, he is ticking all the boxes, telling her all the things that she likes to hear about what, what she would be looking for in a relationship with his time and his money, all of these things, just saying all the right things. Breakfast is done. She says, all right, ready to go. He says, you know, I got to stop at my house. I got to get a charger, but also I have another softball tournament, you know, situation going on. So we're going to go there first. So go to the field. He goes to play his game. Lala stays in the car at this point, watches the game. I don't know why. Um, stays in the car, finishes his game. He comes back, drops her off. They've now spent, what, 24 hours together in pretty much in chunks and gone back. Kiss her on the cheek, goes back home. Now, from this point forward, they start spending every day together. And y'all know what it's like when you're getting to know somebody and you're dating. When you talk every single day, it seems a lot longer than it actually really is. So he's coming over, spending time. He starts spending the night. And we're talking over a two, three month period. John is there all of the time. He is in with the family, in with the kids. So much so that her youngest, who's about 15 months old, starts to call him dad. Like this is how in, engaged and in tune and around just this man was. So now we get over into like mid-January time of him coming over and spending all this time. They're together. That's my man. They hadn't seen each other in like two days. He's like, hey, I miss you. Can I come over? I, you know, I, I'm going to come over. I want to come see you. Um, it's late. She's like, yeah, but sure. He's like, I'm tired. So he comes over, puts the game on, lays down in the bed, passes out, and he passes out with his phone on his chest now. His phone is on his chest and it's not locked. And when um, Lala goes over to see it, it is open to a contact by the name of Kat. Now, Lala recognizes the name Kat because Kat was John's ex. And John had let Lala know that he had gotten into it with Kat so much that he'd been on probation. A domestic situation that wasn't really domestic, but he was on probation because of getting into it with his ex, Kat. So she sees this and she wakes him up in his sleep. <laughs> Excuse me, who, who is this? Who is this? Who, who is this? Who's, who's Kat? gives her some excuse. Maybe I was trying to text you. You know, it was just an accident kind of do this. And she's like, well, my name is not next to this in the alphabet, but you know what, whatever. I'm not even feeling like going into this, but just leave this alone for now. We get to February, we get to Valentine's Day. We're getting close to Valentine's Day. And they're planning a Valentine's Day trip. Freak accident. She gets up, she ends up needing emergency, Lala ends up needing emergency hernia surgery right before Valentine's Day. We're talking about five, six days before Valentine's Day. So she has to go in and get this surgery. Let's John know. John is worried, concerned, super attentive while she goes through this process, um, sending her food while she's in the hospital, um, you know, waiting because it's COVID, so he can't go inside. She gets released. It's like a Thursday when she gets released. He picks her up, says, I got you, runs errands, taking her to, you know, where she needs to be at home, um, getting her settled. And she asks him, hey, um, you have nail money? You know, like, this is what we do. This is our thing, right? You give me no money. And for the first time, he actually tells her no. And she said, what? He says, "If I, you know, I don't think I need to be, you know, I don't have money. I need to move stuff around. And I don't think I should be touching my 401k or doing all these things just to give you some nail money. Mental note number one. Now, remember, Thursday is happening. Over the next few days, no money. Starts texting less starts calling less and she's like what's going on you know I just had surgery all of a sudden you're like practically almost ghosting me you know so she gets a message one day on Facebook they don't communicate over Facebook but the Facebook message reads he's all hot and bothered and in and hot and ready but my girlfriend won't touch me and she's like what what do you mean to send me this message like what is this and she goes, your girlfriend? Who's your girlfriend? Is it Kat? I remember the name Kat that came up before, right? And he thought he was being slick. And he said, I already had Kat, so I don't need to go back to that again. So now Lala is, is, is a little annoyed at this point. So Lala says, that's fine. She goes on his Facebook. She researches his friends. She gets about five cats, does her little deductive reasoning, and the process of elimination lands on the right cat. So she goes to Kat and she sends Kat a message. Inquires, you know what's going on? The message then leads uh, to them, you know, getting on a phone call because Lala's like, you know, like what's really going on? Because at this point, like none of this is, is, is making sense to me. Like why is he, you know, they had themselves a little, a little Monica and Brandy moment. You know what I'm saying? They had themselves a little, you know, do you know? I know you know him. I know, you know. I just wanted to know. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We had, we had a little. Oh, oh, you know, you know. 
right 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 so they start having this moment on the phone and cat says well you know he's not my man but i keeping him around and she goes but cat says you should give him a chance to you know explain himself and she's like wait a minute you mean like explain himself to me like what what do you what do you mean like this is not a lala says listen i need you to just give it to me straight like just give it to me straight what exactly are y'all doing um like corn on the car check in with me and do your job Cat then informs Lala that John has been slobbing on all the knobs with her at the same time that he has been slobbing on all of the knobs with Lala. So much so that he didn't get some from Lala that morning that he went to Cat and came back. Now, listen, Lala does not play this. Lala confronts John. When she confronts John with all this information, he goes nuclear, starts calling her fat. There's all, everything in the book but a saint from what she says. They go back and forth, kicks him out, and he leaves. John comes back the next day and is sorry. I'm sorry. Can I come back, please? Lala has already checked out. Now, Lala said the biggest trigger for her is cheating. So in her response to this, Lala said she decided to burn his stuff. And when I say stuff, I don't just mean clothing and shoes like you may think just normal, regular stuff to burn. Lala burnt this man's social security card. Lala burnt this man's birth certificate, y'all. The birth certificate. Lala burnt this man's existence up, okay? Burn it up. She said, you cheated on me. That just, I, I don't know who I am. I'd left. Um, if y'all want to go ahead and uh, picture uh, waiting to exhale our good sister Angela Bassett as we are walking off and flicking things off in the background, this is Lala. All right. So does all of this stuff. He doesn't believe her. He says, D you didn't do that. Sis sends him a little boomerang of her poking at the barbecue pit, you know, with his stuff in it. Sure did. And I just, I'm going to just interject this here. I feel like when men feel backed in the corner, they really don't have or don't have a, 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 a you know, a dog in the fight or anything. They just ask for random stuff, right? Just because they, they want to see you to say something. So in this moment, y'all, John says, well, you know what? I want my laundry pods. And when I say laundry pods, I literally mean this man asked for his Tide Pods. He asked for his Tide Pods. Your whole existence is burnt up, but you want the Tide Pods. Fine. She said, fine, I'm going to put them on the porch. Y'all, you can go get that off, off the front porch. So even after all of this, John continues to beg Lala. He continues to beg Lala, please, what can we do to, do, to get this back together? I want a baby. She said, a baby? If you want a baby with me, then you're going to need to cut everything off with cat. You're going to have to cut all of that off. That's what you really want to do. You're going to need to cut all of this off. John continues, Johnny, now, we're five days post-surgery. And y'all, we say this all the time, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, especially a woman who just had surgery as well. So Lala is sitting there stewing in all of these feelings and emotions. She's replaying the whole relationship in her mind about what did I miss? How did this happen? And we do it. And in this moment, y'all, Lala picks up the keys and she gets in the car. And she's out, y'all. She is out. John lives about 20 minutes away. She says, you know, let me go ahead and check his, uh, you know, I'm, I'm driving to his place. So she drives to his place and she's sitting outside. She's like, let me go ahead and check his Snapchat. Let me see if his location is on. Doesn't see anything on there as a ghost. So she texts him. Hey, where are you at? John says, you know, uh, I'm, I'm at work. She says, hmm. Unfortunately, John did not turn off his location. Y'all know women be on some stealth stuff. She checks his location and his location is nowhere near where his job is. So Lala takes a little screenshot, takes the location picture, does not send it to John, sends it to Kat. Is this you? Kat doesn't respond, but John responds shortly thereafter and says, I'm just picking some stuff up. I'm on my way home. So, in the middle of her stakeout, Lala needs to pee. <laughs> Lala goes to the pool to use the bathroom. As Lala is walking back to her car, John pulls in. 
John pulls in and I need y'all to go there. If you're still here with me, thank you. I need you to visualize this, okay? John pulls in slow motion. Lala is walking back to her car. Lala and John lock in eyes, okay? Lala said he is close enough for me to throw something. They lock in eyes, y'all. And Lala says, you see me? Because I know you see, I see you. You see me? She says, John sees her, see him, see her seeing him. John hits the reverse, skirt, out the front, turns that car around, takes off. John is gone, y'all. John is gone. Lala is no longer Lala. I don't know. We need another name for her or wh whoever this person is. Five days post-op, jumps in her car, takes off after him, y'all. Y'all, we are in a hot pursuit chase right now. Hot pursuit chase. They are going down. Lala is literally on this man's bumper, looking at him in the river. John is in the rear view. John is looking at his rear view mirror, staring at Lala behind him. Lala is behind him saying, pull over, pull over. John is in his car, y'all, holding his steering wheel going like this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lala is telling him to pull over, pull over. She is chasing this man. And finally, this man decides to pull over into the parking lot. Pulls over in the parking lot. He's smart, though, because he pulls over in the parking lot. And as Lala comes to pull, to pull closer, takes off again, y'all. Takes off again. Lala back in her car, chasing him again. They finally get to back towards his house into this merge section. And Lala T-bones him, y'all. Lala T-bones him. T-bones him and blocks him in gets out of her car, goes to him, and is now tapping on this man's window, telling him to put the window down, telling him to put the window down. Does, does anybody remember what John said? Does anybody remember what John said? John said, no, I'm not putting this window down because you're going to beat my ass. Do y'all know that mean? Give me my snacks or you're going to get beat ass? Lala was ready to give him beat ass, okay? He said, nope, not doing it, not doing it. Puts his car back on. <laughs> takes, he takes off again. He takes off again. Lala is now chasing this man again. He gets himself on the freeway. Lala then loses him, finds it back. Lala then run over and hit all of those barrier things. Y'all know the little barrier things full of water. Lala then busted these things over. John finally gets away. John escapes, okay? I think a normal person would have given up a long time ago, but we're here now, okay? And we've clearly established that Lala is not normal in this situation. So instead of leaving this alone, okay? Instead of leaving this alone and just taking the LB on, Lala says, I'm going to my friend's place. We're almost done, y'all. I'm going to my friend's place. Goes over to her friend and says, I need your car. The friend says, for what? And she just says, I need the car. Friend says, are you going to murder somebody? Lala says, no. Are you going to commit a felony? Maybe. TBD. Friend says, okay. Leave your car here. I need you to take the license plate off the back of the car, put it in the back seat. So in case if you were... And then go do what you need to do. Lala puts on her all black everything outfit, her whatever suit, goes to his home where his car is, puts sugar in his tank, puts sugar in the oil, uh, slashes the back, uh, hold on, slashes the back two tires, not all four because you can get insurance if you do all four, just two, the back two. La I've never heard of this before. Lala gets baloney. She she licks the baloney and puts the baloney on the patches of paint she can find because remember this car is crunched up. Okay, there's not much car here. So again, we're not even sure if John even noticed any of these things happening to the car. Um, she does all of this, gets ready to peel off and leave because she now feels satisfied. Lala's locked in, y'all, because Lala. Instead of parking her car outside of the gate in the complex, came inside, which requires a key to enter and leave. So now Lala is sitting there stuck for an hour, hoping that she doesn't get seen or caught. 
She makes it out, gets her friend's car back. Her friend does voodoo. She feels great. I don't know where John is at this point. This is. Hey! But John is alive. Come to the comment. This John is alive. John is unfortunately alive. His license is suspended. Oh, I didn't know I was first. Goodness. Um, Hi. Hey. Um, Hi. You can cut it. Uh, no, keep recording, Jay. It's fine. Yeah. yeah go ahead. So it, 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 it's giving me everyone in the comments. I just need to know. She said it was phenomenal. She said the it was phenomenal. So why was she was small. giving it, why was Kat giving small. it back to you if it was, it was phenomenal? Small. Oh, it was good. small. It was good, but it was small. Right. It. I was but right. Yeah. Okay. I was right. He, he yeah. ate it. You know, he munched. He was a munch. Somebody said that in the way, comments. I'm in the comments now, y'all. Be nice. But yeah, mm. he was a munch. You know, he was, he, he, mm. he was, you know, mm -mm. he ate it good. You did all that. Mm. You, mm. I know. I know. You need to look down, look down, look down, look down and apologize to her. I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> know what I was thinking. Because ain't no way. I'm sorry. Ain't no way you, you did all that. of that for no little bean. <laughs> I did. Whew, child. I did. I'm deceased too, Paula. Yeah, I did. Um, it was. It was like. It was like. It was like. It was like five. It was like five inches. Up. Oh, I thought five out of ten. Okay. I mean, barely. You know, it was like Ooh. four and a half. I'm light one. Four and three quarters. You know. It was a sausage, yeah. It was a little sausage, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was, it was, it was, a sh it was short and stout. Short, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like a teapot, yeah, 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 yeah. Like a teapot. Yeah, yeah. No, like no, it was a little teapot, short and stout. Yeah, you know, it was short and stout. Right. It was short and stout. It was yeah, fat. Yeah. It was fat, mm -hmm. but Ain't it was no way. short. It was small, but, Ain't no way. but fat. Oh, I only came here to say one thing. Now I got two things to say. I will be changing my emoji because the teapot is crazy. Y'all are hella. <laughs> that is crazy. You're um, welcome. So out of all the red flags you got. Okay. You still got in the, in the car with this man and he was drunk oh, and his car looked man, like that. I, I knew somebody lost. was going to get on me about this damn car. Listen, because, listen I'm going to tell somebody you Somebody else said it. It was working. It was still working for him. And I mean, crying out loud, it was a Chrysler. Like, it's, it's okay, still a listen, good car. Wait, 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 wait. Not too much on Chrysler's because I have a Chrysler, but I don't have to hold right, anything a good by car. a screen. But ma'am, wait, wait. If if the if it, the, it wasn't the, a good the back car. Seat, if the back seat of the car is touching your back, it's it not was a good car. It wasn't, that, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I mean, okay. Yes, the his so the Chrysler, right? Think of your Chrysler top notch. If you your your whole driver's side, like right between them two doors, is where he got crashed into. So that his door was jacked up. He literally had to lift his door to close it. And then his back door was and, tethered. Okay. And the okay. Front, the, now my side, the passenger side, mm -hmm. somebody hit him on the passenger side in the front. So okay. the 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 like the when you open the door, that part was messed up. Like the, oh, so, the crack of the door that was messed up. So he had to like jimmy and shake it to get All to right. open it to let me in and then close it. Got you. No, he, had, so, he had bad. In, I don't think he had insurance. I think you're right. No, no insurance. Okay, wait. And so yeah. even then, after all that, you still said, I want to get in this car is where I Oh, want. man. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I didn't. Not that I wanted to. I just agreed to. It was peer pressure. Why didn't you drive? Why y'all didn't take your car and then you drive your car? I mean, I guess you can't I answer these a, questions I now. I have, a, I have a thing. I have a thing about driving a man. Yep. I'm not going to drive you. You can drive me, and you can I'm drive, drive me a man car. before a man drive me and his uh fucking <laughs> beetle like and damn near kill me. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> yeah, get in the passenger seat, sir. Get in the oh, back seat, man. if you will. He Fuck. got in the accident. No, I, 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 you know, that was something I didn't really think about. Oh, yeah. I, I'll give you that. I didn't think about that one. It's okay, girl. I understand. Another I thing. You. So you invited this Tinder man that you ain't know to your house within a couple of hours? No, 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 no. Oh, it was oh, okay. about two weeks. It was okay. about two weeks yeah, after two weeks. I had okay. been texting him. I came in a little late, so I just yeah. needed I needed a little yeah. clarification. All yeah, right. No problem. Don't do that no more, girl. Um, no, no, no. Well, <laughs> I, I, like I said, this just happened again, but it was it was worse. It was worse. It was seven years, and I wrecked his car, too. 
His was brand new. But the, okay. yes, it was a better Wait. car. It's a brand new la, car. La, la. When can, where can people catch you? Catch you streaming? I... Y'all can catch me <laughs> in my own stream at random times. I don't have a specific time for my own stream, but on Mondays, this timeline is weird. I appreciate you, Fever Diva. Um, Mondays, I'm on with, two two things, with Top Badge things. Dimples. Uh, top Badge Dimples at two o'clock. I give the weekend D. I'm the weekend correspondent. I give you all that celebrity juicy drama. Um, obviously I love the drama. Um, so, so I, I give the weekend D on Mondays at 2 PM Eastern with top badge dimples. And then, um, most of the time I am the drama. Um, <laughs> the, most of the time I stream on Sundays is like a, definitely a day that you can catch me personally on. And I'm just sitting here vibing right here behind the, my girl licking the Saturn rings and smoking my blunt and just, I'm your favorite BBW and I'm your favorite stoner. <laughs> Thank you for coming to share your story. Thank you for having me. You this was great. Head, Lala, Clearly Lala will be back. Drop some crowns in the comment if you want to hear about Rob. <laughs> Rob, oh no. Uh, oh, Drop some crowns what, in the Jaeger. comments if you want to hear what happened with Rob. That one was- Did she clarify one. what, Jaeger? Hold on, before you go. Can I clarify what? The seven year one, that's a totally different story. That's a totally different That's person. a whole, that's that's next time. That's the next story. For the sequel, no, there's no sequel to John. John's done. There's no sequel to John. It's just, it's, it's, it's Rob now. Not the one that just ended, no. No, 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 it's a different. It's different. I'm confused. Because, all right, so she said, this just happened again and it was a seven year thing. Yes. That's what confused me. So the seven year thing, just, just happened. happened but this yeah. entanglement was in 2020 so you had an entanglement inside of an entanglement no 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 so the, no. the my my no. next entanglement just happened uh just happened it's october it just happened a month ago it just ended a month ago who was that the seven year person that was the seven year person as in you've known him for seven years no 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 as in his girl he was with his girlfriend for oh, seven oh, years uh, so and he had me as the side chick for a whole oh, okay. year all right, all right. that was all the clarification chick. i needed you can come back and tell that story another time i just need that <laughs> yeah. clarification thank you not You're seven welcome. years with her not seven years <laughs> with her all right y'all two, two years things. yes not three separate ones just two separate ones lala i'm gonna just i'm gonna say this with love okay i just take it's a break okay. Listen, I am out here by myself happily, happily by myself. Leave me alone. Do not come in my DMs. Leave me the hell alone. I'm hurting out here. I'm mean as hell right now. I'm going to cuss you the fuck out. Don't come in my DMs with no bullshit. I'm single. Leave me alone. I'm look, where's my book? I'm, I'm doing shadow work and manifestation journaling. Leave me alone. That's it. Okay, all right. But, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> single out here, but, oh, sorry. Okay, Jay, you can stop. Listen, if you're still here hanging with me, I appreciate it. 